Hey finance fam, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna cover five things that are preventing you from growing your money and building wealth. So the first thing is going to be high car payments. Now, this one gets talked about, you know, here and there, but it really is something that you need to think about. If you take all of your debt collectively, including your car payment, um, your credit card payments, your student loan payments, and exclude your housing payment from this, but take all of your debts minus your housing payments. You want that amount to be 20% or less of your income, and that's your net income or your take-home pay. So if your car payment is very high, that's going to take up a lot of that space that you have for consumer debt. So just keep that in mind that, you know, cars, Although it's nice to have the nicest, fanciest new whip, it's going to cost you in terms of wealth because car payments can be a very high amount of money and that money can be used to invest and grow your wealth instead. So that's definitely something to consider. The next major thing that keeps people from growing their money is the fear of investing because they don't want to lose money in the markets or via whatever asset they invest in. Keep in mind the risk of not taking action with investing far outweighs the risks of actually investing because inflation is eating away at our purchasing power every single year. And inflation is the rising cost of goods. If we're not investing, we're not keeping up or beating inflation. And that is an issue over time as our money just loses purchasing power and you can't buy as much with your money that you could before. That's why we invest. So if you're afraid to invest, if you're afraid of losing money, sometimes the fear of losing that money can be crippling for some people. Um, the fear of bear markets or drawdowns, meaning corrections or pullbacks in the market. Um, these things can, can instill a lot of fear in people, but it's part of the process. Net worth, growing your net worth is not a straight line up. Growing net worth is going to look like this. It's going to have its ups and downs, okay? That's just the natural progression of how assets work and how values of assets work over time. So sell-offs in the market are not something to be afraid of. They actually should be something that you run towards because that's when the wealth is really generated when you can buy assets at cheaper prices when they do actually end up selling off and coming in a little bit. So the fear of being afraid of those corrections and being afraid of investing is going to cost you so much more money than if you learn about it, get knowledgeable about it, and learn how to do it within your risk tolerance and learn how to do it the right way. The third thing keeping you from growing wealth is high interest debt. I talk about high interest debt a lot because it's important, a lot of Americans have it. High interest debt, I consider basically anything 7% or higher in interest, you're going to wanna to look at that a little closer because it's really starting to compound against you heavily and you wanna get that paid down as much as possible before you do anything else. So yes, um, high interest debt is something that can definitely stunt how much money you can grow over time and you don't wanna be paying that money to the bank in interest. You want to be getting paid that money in interest and in appreciation of your assets, right, over time. So that's the third major issue that could be preventing you from building more wealth. The fourth thing that could be stopping you from growing your money is your spending habits. So look, I like nice things. I like to go out to dinners. I like to buy, you know, new jackets or new shirts um, and shop, uh, but you have to know where the limit is. You have to know when you're towing the line between um, treating yourself every once in a while or treating yourself within your means and then over treating yourself and punishing your bank account and punishing your you know future self because you didn't invest enough or you didn't save enough because you like to go out and spend money. So look, spending habits are very unique. For, for everybody. I, I don't think that you should limit yourself to the point where you feel like you're missing out in a huge way in life. Life is meant to be enjoyed, right? But at the same time, there are limits to everything. Everything in moderation, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, if you have a shopping habit, if you have 
um, a habit of eating out a lot and doing Uber Eats a lot, you know, those things can usually be reeled in and you'd be surprised how much money you are actually spending. So I, I encourage people to take a look at their spending habits and make sure that yours are not preventing you from growing your money and getting more money invested. When an Uber Eats bill for the whole entire year could be a retirement contribution, that might be something to, to look at in detail and consider maybe shifting your spending habits a little bit. Okay, the fifth thing that might be causing you to not be able to grow your money is limiting beliefs. So a lot of this can stem from how we were raised, how we watched our parents handle money, things that happened to us throughout our lives that may be caused us to feel like we can't grow wealth, we can't grow money, or we're, maybe we started to invest but the market sold off right after we started and then you know you felt, oh I can't do this. Just keep in mind that it's very possible no matter where you are, no matter if you're just beginning your saving and investing journey and anywhere from that all the way up to somebody that has a retirement account, has their money invested, yada, yada, yada. Anything is possible at any, at any stage, no matter where you are. And there's always room for financial planning. There's always room for improving your financial situation in some way, shape or form, whether it's learning how to save on taxes to be able to invest more or you know learning how to pay down your debts the right way so that you are not compounding against yourself but you're compounding for you by investing instead so there's always going to be something that we can learn more about in finance it's a such a broad topic and i wouldn't let the vastness of all of this, all of the investing and the taxes and just the finance in general, the vastness of it, don't let it intimidate you to where you feel like you can't learn it, figure it out, start making change in your life and actually grow your money for the long run. And everybody has room in some way, shape or form to make moves for them, for their money. So limiting beliefs, kick them out to the curb, gone bye-bye and do not let them stop you from making change in your financial life, okay? So if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a like for the algorithm. Let's get more sound financial knowledge to more people, thank you. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I really appreciate you being here with me today. I'll see you in the next video.